So to keep up with tradition guys, we are at Spooner Farm, and yes, this is the same place I talked to about a pro haunt last year, I think. Um, just keeping up with tradition. Welcome to the vlog. Good morning. Blue and pink doll. Don't they look rotten? Look at those. I'm not sure if this is new, but they've got like these little riding carts here now. So when he gets a little older, we can go and do those. We're not doing the corn maze this year, but look at all the freaking pumpkins they got out here. And we're also not, we're not getting any pumpkins either because already, we already have some. So we are getting two small ones though for him. So I had another great visit. So I start every clip off that way. Why don't I just cut it and just say, I had a really good uh, visit with <laughs> Phoenix today. And are you guys still dirty? I don't think you are, but hold on, because sometimes you guys are dirty, and I don't realize that you're dirty. So sometimes I should just clean you just because, uh, like preventative cleaning, cleansing, cleansing. So my intentions for the rest of the evening is, um, this is not going to be one of the shortest vlogs that I've ever had, but it is going to be an extremely short one, simply because I've got the, the vlogging dead to do tonight, so I'm preparing. I am preparing for the walking dead that's going to come on in here in about an hour and a half, I think. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm excited to sit down and kind of watch it and chill out a little bit. Um, been just doing like cleaning and stuff like that. And then I've got some paperwork to do later tonight that I have to get done. So yeah, some of this is just, it just has to happen and it's not interesting. And I could probably go and do like a one clip thing and just keep rambling on kind of like I'm doing now and picking hairs for myself and putting them on the floor that I just got through vacuuming, but I won't do that. <laughs> I won't bore you guys. Um, however, I am going to go out really quickly to the store because I have to go to the store. And I lost my cell phone. I don't know where it went. I mean, I had it. I know that it's not lost. I just can't find it. And I haven't been able to find it. And every time I go to look for it, I get distracted. And I start doing other things. And then it's like, wow, I haven't had to... Oh, wait, where's my cell phone? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was looking for it a half hour ago. Go figure. All right, so off to the store. Hopefully, I'll find my cell phone on the way out to the truck. Hopefully, it's not on the ground. Hopefully, it's not eaten. Shh, be quiet. I'm vlogging in a store. They're on sale for 20 bucks. Holy crap. Ladies and ghouls, I just got through watching uh, The Walking Dead, and I will tell you that um, if you are a fan of the show, then you should really take a look at The Vlogging Dead, which should be up sometime around this video, if not before. Um, wow. Wow, I'm not going to give any spoilers. I will say that The Vlogging Dead is all about spoilers, and it talks about what happened in the episode. So if you haven't seen the episode, it would behoove you to do so before you watch that. But I will say three words. Oh. My. Gosh. Yeah. Wow. So now I'm watching The Talking Dead, and I've got my own theories. I'll talk about them more with The Vlogging Dead, but my neck itches. I don't know why. All right, guys, it is time for COC. It is 140, 1.43 in the morning. I hate it when time switches when you try to tell somebody what time it is. Um, it is time for COC. Starting off with Steve Lewis. That, ladies and gentlemen, was awesomeness. I am so glad that you liked it. This is kind of mixed. Uh, Lisa A. Mason, mahalo for sharing all of the haunts. I'm even more depressed now. I grew up in Massachusetts. However, the last 20 years, I've been in Hawaii, and it's not the same here. Uh, how many miles did you cover? with five haunts and in what general area? Um, all the way from Snohomish down to uh, basically Tacoma. Um, mileage, I don't know exactly how I... 200 miles, guessing? I know that Troy covered a lot more because he came all the way from Portland. So that was, he trekked yesterday and he made it home like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Liz M. It was great seeing you guys. Thanks for dropping by. Um, I am seriously so glad that we were able to make it. I'm glad that I was able to make it. And your house was spectacular. Spooktacular. Um, all the haunts look great. Love the Oz houses mostly because it was a group of neighbors celebrating together. Yeah. 
That really was awesome to have all those houses and all the neighbors in on the same thing. Every single house in that cul-de-sac. It was really powerful. <laughs> Scare <it> hollow. <laughs> Had a great night and the fact that we both love Taco Bell. Well, of course. Taco Bell is the, I think Taco Bell is like the official haunter food right next to pizza and teriyaki. I think teriyaki brings up a third. Third. Brings up the rear. Twitty Fashion Dancer. Finally, you made it to Nightmare on 9, though you came at a time that my knee was killing me. I'm glad I made it back up there. Um, so it was great seeing you, and uh, maybe um, if you see this, uh, keep me apprised of events that are happening during the year at Nightmare on 9, and um, maybe I can come up there and we can get caught up. Little Giles, Dueling Troys. Looks like you guys had a blast. We did. Okay, guys, this is going to be funny. Spooky Norris, you guys look like you had a blast. Five haunts in one night? Boys, you've got stamina. <laughs> That's what she said. Because it is a she. I wasn't being... Yeah. Totally not funny now. But it was funny. And now that I'm mentioning it again, it's funny. Everyone Chipsy Heart says, uh, Love the bloody bathroom. Would have been cool to see the entire party space. Um, I don't think that Troy got the whole space, but he might have different video than I do. So he, uh, check uh, Scare Hollow. Trip 27, that looked like fun. I wish I had made it out to a haunt or two this weekend. Well, I know that you've been working a lot, but Halloween only comes once a year, so try to get out to at least one because they're awesome. That's what we live for. We live for death. Oh, it's so funny. That is kind of funny, isn't it? Jordan Winton, what are your plans for Halloween? I don't know. I seriously don't know. Halloween's in like freaking five days, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I got candy tonight. I got like a bunch of candy. It was on sale. For like $1.75 a bag. And that's like pretty dang good for chocolate bars. And the last comment of the night. The BDL Express. Did you invite Brad to future Northwest Hunters Association barbecues and such? It'd be cool to meet him after seeing a bunch of his tutorial videos. Um, I'm not sure he's a part of it. I'm not sure if he knows about it. I'm sure that he probably knows about it. But I don't know for sure. And since I'm just a member, I didn't happen to mention it to him. So, yeah. That would be something worth talking to him about. All right, guys, happy haunting. Thank you so much for watching. Kind of a different vlog today, kind of short, although COC is kind of long, so I don't know how long it's going to be now. Maybe it's going to be up in the 12-minute mark. <clears throat> but I digress. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow. Bye. Did I say happy haunting? I want to make sure I say it. And Troy, note to self, put an outro in right here. Hi, Baldy Jack here. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to Halloween Hellmouth. Or... I'll bite your brain. <laughs>